Hello everyone, my name is Clint, otherwise known as Mr. Clintastic, preparing to jump into a ranked draft of Throne of Eldrain on MTG Arena. If you enjoy my content, please be sure to like and subscribe to help my channel grow in the future. We're diving right in. This pack looks amazing, like, there's just so many options here. So you got Ginger Brew, which honestly I think is an amazing card. Starting off with a Ginger Brew just kind of kicks you kicks you in gear. There's Wildwood Tracker. Both cards go great in, in Mono Green um, or Green Black Food, as well as Rose Thorn Acolyte. There's Baked Into Pie, Rampart Smasher. But this is Quick Draft. I mean, Baked Into Pie is awesome, but I'm going to go with the Ginger Brew here. This is kind of where I like to be. It's colorless. I can throw counters on it, make it unblockable, and kind of do anything I want. Glass Casket is solid. It's solid. I just don't think I'm going to be green-white. I could be wrong. I like having two unveiled tree folk. It just pairs really well with the Ginger Brute. I'm gonna get the um, the Scalding Cauldron here. Just having you know early game removal is amazing. Okay, Rose Thorn Halberd, one of my one of my favorites. Tracker, so far so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, Ginger Brute. There's an insatiable appetite, but I'll also just pick up another ginger brute. Like, oh my goodness, another rose thorn halberd. Another tracker. So our early game is looking fanificent. Really fanificent. I, I made that word up, so that's kind of why I stumbled over it, but I move on. Insatiable appetite. Oh, that's going to be wonderful. I don't think we need those really big creatures, but we'll see. <sighs> Kenrith's transformation is okay. It's really just not my favorite card to draw. I would rather have Garen Brick Paladin kind of fill out the top of the deck. There's another Garen Brick Paladin. Delicioso. I'm not a big fan of the Squire. I'm just going to grab another Scalding Cauldron. I'm going to grab the Twin Veil Tree Folk. I'm going to kind of prioritize these creatures that have those abilities. More so than just, you know, a basic removal spell or something. How is a beanstalk can be slapped on top of one of these trackers or ginger brutes, preferably? Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. So there's Curious Pear, Golden Egg, and Hinge Walker. Hinge Walker isn't bad, especially in a mono color deck. Curious Pear makes us some food. It's just a 1 3, it can be played early. I'll grab it. But there's nothing wrong with Golden Egg drawing a card, but if it's just drawing a card, is it really benefiting us at that point? I'm going to get the Ramp Creature, the Rose Thorn Acolyte. I don't mind having that. Merrileaf Rider goes in the food deck. A lot of people have been running these Return to Natures. Hopefully we'll get we'll just get one by the end of the draft, but I'm not going to pick up a return to nature at the moment. Ooh. I'm going to grab the halberd. Hopefully we can devise a strategy where we simply just play four or five ginger brutes, slap some halberds on them and then just take off. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, oh. Wow, <laughs> I talk all that noise and we don't get 
We like this pack is dead. Like we'll get this spider. There's nothing else for us. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna get the four drop five five over to four drop four four. Mm. I like having pumps on my bodies. And I'm a big fan of these kind of effects like spinning wheel. Especially in a long game deck, so we might take out the spiders since we do have good ramp. Here I'm gonna grab another scalding cauldron. Ooh, keep her favors. That'll be fun. We need it. We need it. You know, kind of like a fun card to go in the deck, and I think keeper fable is gonna be where it's at. Take out that squire. I'm not gonna play that squire. Probably not even gonna play the Merrileaf Rider either. It's toughness just is trash. I'm gonna grab another Garen Brick Carver, just a pump on the body. Ooh. Uh We already have two Tuinvale tree folks. So at this point, what are we taking out? We're taking out the curious pears and the spiders maybe so say we're moving a little bit like that we already have two ramp spells here but maybe we just want the additional advantage we'll see we'll see maybe that comes around for us maybe it doesn't Yeah, if I, between the two, I'd rather have Garen Break Squire. That toughness really makes a difference. Alright, we got plenty of curious pairs. So let's see what, if we need to really add anything. I didn't think so. Um, nothing I really want to take out. I wish I would have gotten at least one more Insatiable Appetite. Do I really want to be 17 lands? I think so. I think I want to hit that every time. We have a lot of high, high uh, mana cost spells here. So yeah, I took out the tallest of beanstalk. We have three rose thorn halberds. We have two two and veil tree folks. So these these gingerbreads are gonna get some counters at some point. And even if they don't, we have two garen brick paladins and two. Two and Bell Tree folks. Let's go. Let's go. I love playing Mono Green. It's so fun. It's so fun. Especially when you get multiple Ginger Brutes with the um, Rose Thorn Halberds. I mean, man, you can just really take off on your opponent. Let me have a swig of water before we get to work. Hmm. Now this is an amazing hand. This is exactly what we want to see. I'm going to play the tracker first. And then hopefully we can just... Hopefully they play nothing and we just get in for big... Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's delicious. And we get in for that big daddy damage right here. Just going to slap that onto the ginger brute. So that's five damage on turn two. Five damage turn two mm -hmm. and all their mm. I mean granted we don't we don't have anything else but this this is kind of an example of um, what I was talking about like they can answer the ginger brute but we really dug into them life <laughs> dug into them life points mmm Uh, 
I think we hold up the insatiable appetite. I guess they just want to deal some damage to show us what's what. Mmm. Delicious. Also. So as long as the opponent can't deal, I don't know, 17 damage next turn, we are in the clear. <laughs> Oh, dragon, I didn't mean to board. What, what are you doing? I was about to say. Oh, yeah. Don't pump that up. Alright, that's enough of the win. Hey! <laughs> wow. Five damage starting on turn two. What does your opponent do about that? And then it gets unblockable when you want it to. Jesus. Is Ginger Brute just the most powerful card right now? Ginger Brute, Rose Thorn, Halberd. Unblockable 3-3 three, three for multiple turns. I don't know. Oh, this hand's delicious as well. It's not as good as the first hand we had. Cause we had Rose Thorn Halberd already ready, so we we knew what to do. Hmm. Here I'm just gonna drop a Halberd. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Okay. We have a Halberd here as well. Alright, once again, swinging in for 5 damage on turn 2. Uh, eat that opponent. Eat that up. Is that delicious? Is that damage delicious? Uh, oh, jeez, Rick. Mm. We're not letting them kill our um <laughs> we're not letting them kill our ginger bird. So he might as well just get back with that. Out of two, three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this is important here. We risk losing Ginger Brute, but. Yeah, <laughs> I think that closes it up right there. Hmm. Let's move on from that. So the opponent has to devise a way to do, I don't know, 17 damage right now. I think that's feasible.
Mm hmm. Yeah. You got this. With your four mana, four cards in hand, and adventure creature, you can kill our board and deal 17 damage. I'll drink some water while you do that, opponent. <clears throat> That's not it, opponent. This doesn't have haste. Right. We're gonna get in for the, the full attack. Good game. Just so he knows, like, we, we really was not playing with him at all. Man, okay, and we haven't even gotten into our Garen Brig Paladins and things yet. Those are two just completely dominant games. Jesus, we didn't get our Two and Bell Tree, folks. This is just early game Ginger Brutes, um, Rose Thorn Halberds with a couple one drops. Things are going quite well. Hmm. McNuckles. <laughs> okay, this hand. You're going to have a, a hand every now and then. And I think this is going to be one of those. We'll see. Are they going to drop a turn one, Ginger Brute? <laughs> okay. What's going on today? We're getting those gasoline hands. Yeah. Don't even have a creature to play. Okay, so we get to just run out Halberd on Ginger Brute and Scalding Cauldron. My gosh, <laughs> they can play the. Yeah, it don't matter. Like we're just trying to curve out in the Keeper of Fables now. Start drawing cards. Man, that's like the first opponent. <laughs> How did, I mean, that's the first opponent that actually removed the uh, <laughs> the ginger brute. I guess I should have killed this while I had the open mana last turn. just don't want them to be able to you know do anything really okay okay um Kill off the curious pair. Saving the halberd so that the track, because Rimrock Knight can't block, so hopefully the tracker can get in and draw us a card next turn. We'll see. Okay. <clears throat> that was bad. Oh man, that was real bad. Okay, we no block. Okay. Oh man. Oh man. I forgot it worked both ways. 
So I guess we should have killed the Rimrock Knight. <sighs> okay. So we're just going to swing in with the Keeper of Fables. And hold, hold up the insatiable. At oh, yeah, we can hold up whatever. We probably should have put the rose thorn halberd first, but we didn't know. All right. So drop with the land. Definitely gonna pump them this time. Oof. All right. Okay, that was a rocky game, but Keeper of Fables came through. Came through with the heat. Mm-hmm. Okay, that happens. Mm. Wish we had a food token on the board. All right. Like if we would have had a food token on the board, we could have made our other creature are five five and one regardless but we have been stomping today stomping Whew. feels good to wake up in the morning and devastate some opponents <clears throat> well I say wake up I work night shift so I technically haven't slept but you get what I mean Oh, that first hand wasn't good at all. Okay. I'm um, just going to drop the cabin now. I was talking all that noise and then we got a trash hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is where we want to be once again. Talking all that noise and we get a good hand. Okay, boom. Whew. Back in there like we never left. Okay, trapped in the tower. That's what's up. But I'm happy I kept the Garen Brick Paladin because we're not. What's this dude? We're really not far away from just dropping Garen Brick Paladin. So it's nice to be looking forward to that. That would be kind of silly to put <laughs> a counter on a. Uh, Godmother, because oh, nice. Just gonna drop another one of those and see what the opponent does. 
Gonna try to kill Flutter Fox. I guess when I say try, I mean we're going to. And there we go, a 5 5 Garen Break Paladin. They probably have an answer, they haven't really played much else. So I guess we're just gonna do this right here. <laughs> mm-hmm. They have Scald and Cauldron. Alright. And we win. Made it to platinum. Nice. Nice. Four and O. Oh. Four and O. Oh. My gosh. Gotta drink some water. Man, things have been going extraordinary today with this deck. Maybe Mono Green is just that technology. We haven't even really needed these Rose Thorns. Well, these Rose Thorns Alkalites. Yeah, I'm gonna slam that on the tracker. Don't have anything else. Slap down a cauldron. Hopefully they don't have removal here. Seven dwarves. It would have been nice to just drop our Rosethorn Acolyte instead to guarantee that we could play the Smasher, but. Okay, slaying fire. Acolyte. Wicked wolf. Oh no! We actually needed that. Okay. Fine with me. We still need a land. That's kind of screwing us up right now.
Okay. We were one turn away from being from that being relevant. Like our mana really throwed us off this game. We have all of our heavy things, but we didn't have the land to play them on curve. And even getting scalding cauldron, like as soon as he would have had that well, he probably wouldn't have put the counters there if things would have been different. My goodness, come on game. A little slack, please. If we don't find an answer for this um, Raging Red Cap, we're sunk. Yeah, this one's over. We're still at four lands. They made it to the six. And they're just getting great value going. What a way to start off the Platinum Journey. Mana screw. Thanks, MTG. <clears throat> Uh, but I digress that happens I don't think there was a really another line of play I could have taken man I didn't have to kill that seven dwarves but I thought I did <laughs> hindsight 2020 Okay, okay, I'll keep. Curious pair. We'll throw out Wildwood Tracker into Halberd. It's not it's not as good as into Ginger Brute, but we shall make do. Just gonna get more creatures on the board and it ramps us so if we draw one of our big guys like our Garen Brick Paladins we just swing straight through those losers. Can't swing in. Fooey. Can't swing in because they had that 1 5 out there. And I didn't 2 unveil Trefo because that just wasn't the time they had open mana. Could have countered me.
So I feel like they were being a little bit too aggressive there. Yeah, that wasn't necessary to do, in my opinion. That was honestly just being really greedy. Just gonna swing in for six here. That's nice. That's good damage right there. And we get to play out Tomb Bell Tree Foe next turn. Okay. We'll see what we take out here. Both of these? Okay. Fine with me. That was fine with me. Ooh. Okay. Boom. That free damage. Okay. They backed off. That's intelligent. <clears throat> Now we both have our boards established, but I, th I mean with Ginger Brute <laughs> leading the charge, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> I mean he's getting a lot of value off that innkeeper over there. Yes, uh, effectively he has 11 life total. Okay. Hmm. So they have three, four, five, six, seven creatures. We have one, two, we have five creatures. We tap down one to have six to block with. All right, we're gonna just swing in full, see what happens here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's fine, we get three power off the board.
right okay that's another three power off the board that's nine power off the board okay 11 power off the board All right, opponent, <laughs> get your ducks in a row or your bears. All right. Um, oh no, they get to, they get to kill off ginger brood. I get to kill off Ginger Brew. Oh no, they have it again. I've never in my life seen something like this. Wow. I forgot. Flex and Intruder just really wrecked this game. Wow. Oh my God. What is going on here? Well then, that opponent clearly knew what they were doing. I thought I was in the driver's seat, and honestly, I might have been in a better position if I wouldn't have let Flax and Intruder kill off my ginger brute. Wow. You step into platinum, it's like stepping into the, the new world. Shoot. Find out you're just a rookie. Like, I never even picked Flax and Intruder, and that... <laughs> I mean, that girl came through and was just like, all right, here's three 2-2 two, two bears, and um, I'm going to destroy your game-winning card. Take that. Probably ate up my porridge, too. Slept in my bed, used my cable and my Wi-Fi. Bank card. Flex and Intruder just came in and just used the whole house. All right, this hand is trash. <laughs> Not one of our game winning hands by any means. I'm gonna have to mulligan that. Uh, I, I, I keep it. Still just not one of the hands I wanted to see. I might as well have kept the first one. I mean, I could have mulliganed again down. Oh my gosh. A million bucks, that card in hand. No, I doubt it's hot. If it was hot, they would have just played it then. Wonderful. Oh, and they're Grixis. In case anybody was wondering. <laughs> Definitely wanted to play against the Grixis deck this morning.
<laughs> wow! Oh my gosh! We oh, we gotta tighten up. Oh, whoa, whoa! Jesus! These opponents are not playing any games with us. Yikes! I'm gonna equip that. Get that unblockable. And then. Alright! We're gonna try to... Oh... Yeah, we're dealing with some Yonkos. Huh, this Yonko got out three improbable alliances in like the first three turns of the game. No, sorry. Four, five turns of the game? I've never even seen anything like this before. You've seen it here, folks. That was a... That was an ass whooping. Excuse my French. That was a grade A ass whooping. But it happens when you start going up against some of the best. It happens when you start going up against some of the best. That opponent. That opponent wrecked. But we're still in Platinum 4! And that's what really matters. We got four wins. And we're always getting better. Always improving. If you enjoyed that video, if you enjoyed the content, please be sure to like and subscribe. Tune into my Twitch um, in the mornings. I start around 8 a.m. Um, Central Eastern Time. No, Central Standard Time. And um, yeah, I will catch you guys later.